Approaching the idea of blogging can be challenging and seem overwhelming. And I speak from personal experience in that I've recently set up my own blog so I can walk the talk, I guess you could say. Um, and when you're one individual blogging, it, it does feel like a lot of pressure because you want to create new content. Um, I, you hear a lot of times two to three posts a week. I would say minimally one thing a week, you know, like a minimal to keep your foot, keep things fresh would be one item a week. Uh, and for an individual that can be very challenging because you have a lot of other things going on. Um, but for an organization, no matter how big or small, I, I think it's important to look at what all your resources are. Most nonprofits have a lot of volunteers who love the nonprofit. They have donors who love what's going on at the nonprofit. They have a board um, and at least one employee, if not more than one employee. Um, and the best thing you can do is to brainstorm who out of all those people would be good people to bring to the table and talk about building a blog. Uh, put out a call to your volunteers, to your donors, to your board members who might be interested in helping create the concept of the blog. Um, or once you've figured out the concept, help brainstorm you know, as many topics as you can come up with. Um, sitting around a table just literally brainstorming ideas and writing them all down and then who might be interested in actually writing those those blog posts and I think there are a lot of people who come out of the woodwork who would be willing to write on a certain topic or would be willing to write one or two posts a month or a year or whatever it is and so there's a little planning and a little going out there and asking people and then holding people to a deadline. But at the same point, you, most nonprofits have an army out there and a lot of these people would love to help and they just need a way to help. Um, and I have found that even in my own personal blog, when I say I, I'd like someone to guest blog, people are pretty receptive to doing that for me. And, and this is my personal blog that it's about social connecting, different ways of connecting and networking. Um, it's not for a nonprofit or a really good cause. It's just out there to provide information to people. And I um, have a list of people who've agreed that, yeah, they would like to blog for me when the time comes, help them think of a topic, and they, they'd be happy to do it. Um, so I, I think that nonprofits, if they would step back and really think about who in their community might be interested in in approaching this, that's a great way to do it. Um, another thing would be to figure out who can be the blog manager. Um, your conversation manager, if you do identify one person who's managing all of the conversations, that's a great person to be in charge of the blog. That A blog manager, the way that I look at that, that's someone who edits the material, would make sure that the posts are coming in, um, actually puts them onto the website, the blog posts. Um, and just ensures that everything is running smoothly and then also replies to comments and if they have to, you know, get information because someone's asking something in a comment that they're kind of carrying on the conversation the same way that they would do in um, any of the different social media tools that they're using.